Hi there. Now in the previous video I showed you how we could use the vector product to work out the area of a triangle. The area of the triangle was equal to a half the magnitude of the vector product between A and B. Now in this video what I want to do is take this another step further and show you how we can work out the area of a parallelogram. If we take a parallelogram okay where we've got our vectors coming from a vertex here a and b then what we need to do is just draw a line across here and what we do is we divide it into two congruent triangles so if i work out the area of this triangle and double it we've got the area of the parallelogram well the area of this triangle is just simply going to be what we've got up here if i double it then the area of the parallelogram is just going to be equal to the magnitude of A crossed with B. So nice easy idea there. Now I've got an example which you might like to have a go at but I will run through the uh, work solution in a moment. But we've got a parallelogram ABCD and the coordinates of A B, C and D are respectively minus 1, 2, 1, 3, minus 2, 4, minus 2, 1, 5 and for D, minus 6, 5, 2. So, as I say, you might like to find the area of that parallelogram. Well, in order to do this, what I'd first want to do is just draw a sketch of that parallelogram. It doesn't have to be to scale, just drawn A, B, C, D in any position and you've got the origin there and you can take any two vectors you like coming from a vertex make sure remember that they come away from the vertex so I'm going to choose A, B and A, D but you could equally choose B, A with B, C or C, B with C, D or even D, C with D, A it's up to you do check out your answers against mine. You should end up with the same answer at the end. So working off this diagram, then AB would equal OB minus OA, and that comes to 4 minus 4, 3. And similarly, AD is OD minus OA, and that comes to minus 5, 3, 1. So we've got our two vectors, AB and AD. And all we need to do now to get that area is to work out the magnitude of AB crossed with AD. And I've written the magnitude signs in red here and then you've got the vector cross product between AB and AD in here. So IJK then AB 4 minus 4 3 and AD minus 5 3 1. And remember, if you're unsure of working out the vector cross product, do go back and check the video tutorials I've got on this. So, in the usual way, if we expand the determinant here, we're going to have the magnitude then of i times the determinant, minus 4, 3, 3, 1. Then it's going to be minus j times its determinant, which will be 4, 3, minus 5, 1. And then for k, it's plus k times the determinant, 4 minus 4 minus 5, 3. And expanding that gives us the magnitude of minus 39 minus 19j minus 8k. And then to work out the magnitude, that's going to be the square root of the sum of the squares of the components, 13 squared plus 19 squared plus 8 squared. And that comes to 3 root 66. And that would be an area, so I put square units there. So a nice easy extension then for working out the area of a parallelogram. So do have a go at this in using, say, the vectors CB, CD, or DA and DC. Do check that you get exactly the same answer. All right?